I'm fairly certain I have actually covered this before, but um, I uh, have been seeing some images lately and some of the people within my network are talking about it. So I wanted to circle back to this and um, show you what I'm talking about, right? John F. Kennedy Jr. was the son of John F. Kennedy, the 35th president of the United States. Tragically, JFK Jr. was killed in a plane crash in 1999. Or was he? <laughs> yes, he was. Of course he was. But what if he wasn't? What if he were about to reemerge as the vice president of Donald Trump, who, by the way, is still the president? Sound crazy? It is. In fact, it's one of the wilder conspiracies I've heard in my seven years covering Trump rallies. Okay. You're probably familiar with... So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and find... I just wanted to like put the intro so that you know, like... So that you know where I'm going with this. All right. There is a part in this video in which... I don't know if I'm going to be able to find this. Let me see if I can find it. Then another celebrity who died in the 90s. So the I think the answer to it is that when we think about the, the QAnon believer, and I think in particular the people who go for the JFK Jr. stuff, they're usually baby boomers. And I think the JFK assassination had a huge sort of emotional impact on them. And I think also JFK Jr. was sort of seen as this very like prominent baby boomer through the grassy knoll multiple times right there there in Dealey Plaza and people would approach you and they would tell you things that you should know and shouldn't know and so there was it was like a cottage industry for a conspiracy theorists to give small little tours uh, take you to places that they they tell you what what happened and what they're not telling you and it's easy to get wrapped up in that and you see the people starting to develop um, uh, you know not only mindsets out of it but uh, it gives it. them importance like uh, JFK Jr. is coming back. I I found out what Gematria was real quick. One of the rallies I went to, when a woman kind of walked me through this, she brought out a Gematria calculator and started typing in my name, typing in Trump's name, and connecting all sorts of numbers. It was, <laughs> it was wild. It was real fun. You can kind of make anything make sense there. You type it in the calculator, you get these numbers. And so Michael Jackson's last concert was, this is it, comes to 113. You know what that means? Do you? I, I don't know what that means. So 113 means not true. Oh, so, so Michael Jackson, that wasn't right. his last concert. And he's alive. It's not necessarily a conspiratorial thing, it's although it's used in that. But that. I bet you're seeing it as the same person who's going into a subway. Well, they would do these live streams where they would say, like, didn't y'all see that dead rapper? Like, they wouldn't know any names, you know, and they'd kind of have this game of telephone to figure it out. I'm not going to be a conspiracist or anything like that, but I just watched a movie last week yeah. with Robin Williams in it. It was called Man of the Year. Man of the Year. And guess what? They had election fraud back then. The machines, they were switching yeah. to doing it electronically, and they were counting wrong. Is this a documentary? No, it's, it's a just a movie. Are there any lessons we can take from Mork and Mindy? No. <laughs> well, it should be pointed out. They've they pointed to people, specifically JFK Jr., as there's been a man who's gone to multiple rallies, stands yes. behind Donald Trump, and that's JFK Jr. I went to CPAC and I saw him there as well, and he's taken selfies. Okay, so this is the part. This is the part um, where they talk about the guy who. Um, who is trying to? He he's not uh, confirming or denying. I don't think, but um, just so you can see what I'm talking about, let me not have that huge right there. Um, if you take a look at that, um, this was shared on uh, Twitter in my feed today, and. Um, I, I have a feeling I know where he's going with um, putting on a fedora. I think I know what's happening here. Okay, so so let's get back to the video. Because he's also JFK Jr. So some people aren't just abstract apparitions. They are actually humans that they point to and say, you know, this is who you are. Yeah, I, I, I've actually, I was just texting with him. So so his name is, is Vincent Fusca. And he is this, like, Trump super fan. In the lead up to, in the 2016 election, he had this van kind of festooned with Trump paraphernalia. And so he kind of ends up becoming, because he's a big Trump fan, he's behind him at a lot of rallies. 
when the JFK Jr. stuff starts happening, and this guy, I should say, looks nothing like JFK Jr. He dresses, uh, he wears like a big fedora. He's a very scruffy guy. He wears like a, like a big suit coat. And so now... Yeah, to be clear, JFK Jr. was a stylish man. And yes. it can only be assumed that that style mixed with privilege and wealth would have led him into the modern era not choosing to wear a fedora. Yes, yes, thank you. Yeah, maybe in the 90s, you know, but but now, no, I don't think so. It's so oh, he, yeah, early, because, yeah, early swing day. Big big bad voodoo daddy, he would have had a fedora. <laughs> there would have been a lot of college kids who wanted to look like JFK Jr. who could pull off a fedora. But modern JFK Jr., no, no freaking way. No way. And so... I think that, um, you know, they, they make a really valid point that it's not like we're seeing swing come back right now. I don't think we're seeing the stylings of swing come back right now, except for, you know, the people who actually like live within that, that subculture and are constantly wearing vintage clothes. But Jimmy Dore, I don't believe is one of those people. So if he's wearing a fedora now and he's been, you know, he's invited a boogaloo boy onto a show. I think that it is um, a pretty good assumption that he's trying to tap into this particular conspiracy theory too. I think it's a pretty good assumption that he's tried to tap into this one too to further get more of the QAnon crowd into um, into his fold. Because they were bringing this up um, the other day, I think, on, um, on David Dole's show too. The panel that he does on, I think they do it on Fridays, The Leftist Mafia. And uh, they were, I think it came up in that uh, video they just did about how he got exposed using his, uh, using his main account when he thought he was going to be using it, one of his sock accounts. And um, the style choice came up, I think, during that discussion as well. But um, if you look at like what he's doing, first of all, nobody's fucking wearing a fedora right now. Unless you are still in the swing culture and you're like doing it all the time and you only wear vintage clothes, you're not going to be wearing a freaking fedora, right? It's not, it's not current style and it's certainly, but, but like I said, there is this one dude who the QAnoners think is JFK who looks nothing like JFK. Um, who wears a fedora all the time and he shows up to uh, the events and all of a sudden Jimmy Dore's wearing a fedora now? <laughs> all right, dude.